Alrighty, folks. So after we reacted to the latest uh, event trailer for the Apex Legends and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth event, Apex Legends put up in, I guess, a more in-depth explanation of uh, what's coming, I guess, or you should say what's available. So we're going to go through this article, or summarize, I should say. So Rebirth uh, to that land for its first ever crossover event, providing limits are made to be broken. A new event joins the party, repla uh, so replaces unranked BR Defy Destiny with the Bust of Sword R2R5 with the new abilities and devastating limit break. Find Matera hop-ups that add effects like lightning and more. Uh, you can collect uh, inspired skins for Watson, Crypto, Wraith, and other legends. Uh, 36 event items including a new death box and the mythic Buster Sword R5 melee cosmetic equipable by, by any legend in any mode. Unlike a collection of events, there's a chance to get the Buster Sword R5 in every pack you open. The uh, crossover event brings two gaming icons to the same universe from January 9th to the 30th. Uh, so let's see. So keep an eye for and care packages around the map if you don't find it in the loot boxes. Every Montera hop up has its own uh, impact. Uh, let's see. Attached with select weapon that can spawn in the world and event limited castera ticks. So we have the we have blue uh, Montera dam uh, so pretty much. Heals yourself by dam damaging other am enemies. Green uh, gives you a reload uh, to emit a shock nova, damaging and slowing nearby enemies. The purple one gives you a crit uh, rate up, random uh, criticals provide extra damage. The red gives you a summon, you get to summon a Nisia companion to attack your foes. The yellow uh, allows you to damage enemies to see their remaining health. Uh, collect 36 inspired uh, uh, skin items. We know about that from event packs. So here are the weapon skins. I guess in the legend skins as well. I think. Oh no, that should be the last one. Nope, she's the last one. Yep, I was right. Uh, let's see for back guarantee and pricing these is available in game complete your collection so here's what's available in the item shop oh the cactus I haven't seen that in forever total gill earned uh yeah while playing the event mode and completing challenges to use in reward shop to unlock event items you can also use guild to earn additional battle po uh, bass stars to continue your seasonal progress. The store tab, six uh, skins are available in the store. Twitch drops are available the 12th through the 30th. So on the 12th to the 21st, we get uh, stickers for, I want to guess, Crypto and Wrath. And January 21st through the 30th, we have, I forgot our name, Hop, uh, what's her name? I, I honestly forgot it. Like, I'm botching on the name, but it's fine. Uh, for watching a certain amount of time of uh, Apex Legends related streams, so that's about it. I guess the best thing to do is open up Apex uh, and see actually what's available in store. Let me put up the Xbox. Where is the controller? Okay. Let's see. Is that app? No 
Okay. All right. And automatically switched over. Nice. Apex Legends. And of course, you know, as cross progression, I was playing on Steam. Now I can finally play on my Xbox. It's a lot uh, better experience for me. Yay. Sign in, log in. We're gonna go to the store, of course. Twist drops, we're aware. I'm aware of this. Okay. More Colosseum, more Colosseum, and there's a store. Let's see. Uh, where is it? I guess seasonal? Yeah, seasonal. New cosmetics. I was gonna say, where, where is it? It's usually there. Is the wrath skin like you could purchase the item or itself or you could uh purchase packs Koopa! Koopa power <laughs> that's actually what it's called newcastle seven uh, sector seven savior what else we got Flower Girl for Horizon. Valkyrie Materia Girl. Crypto Hacker First Class. That's funny. <laughs> <coughs> he has an actual sword on the side. That's funny. Okay. The weapon skins. Oh, uh, they, uh, these are stickers. I thought were, uh, this was the actual weapon. I'm like, there's no way. Okay, title wave. Uh, diamond dust. Oh, what's this called? Arcane ward. Ah, oh, this is half bad. What's this? Storm's fury. Fearless leader. <laughs> That's funny. It looks, it looks kind of like Gears. Like Gears inspired. The Hellfire. Okay, this is this is nice. Uh, what's this? Mega Flare? Mm, decent. There's a lot more things. The Bouncer. Limit breaker. Uh, Kupal. <laughs> Kupo. Kupo power. <laughs> it's all stickers. Hold on, let's do it this way. Oops. Oh, this is actually a weapon skin stampede. These are all stickers. Wait, I missed something. Uh, seasonal. Hey, go back. Uh, what's this? Stampede we saw, right? Yeah. And hollow points? What do you call this? And uh, frames. Let's see. Oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Okay, twenty-one fifty a piece for the legend skins. Battle pass. I still have it. Uh, episodes, challenges. Where is it? Oh, okay. 
Xbox right now. Play two takeover games. Here are the challenges in the Rebirth event itself. So it looks like. Ah, let me go back. I want to see something before we call it a night or a day, I should say. About Materia. You know about that. Cactic. Ah, so the cactus is on these thingies. Having trouble finding anything with Terry, you need to uh, make a stop at a cactus to find one of each color. A uh, mighty weapon uh, lootable on the ground and in care packages. Use the ATB meter to dash towards foes or launch them into the air. Unleash, unleash your limit break for increased speed, damage reduction, and unlimited meter. And let's see, I want to see something in settings. Uh, where is that? I just saw it. Okay, go back. So that's it. The Final Fantasy VII Takeover World Edge. <laughs> the Chocobo. The Chocobo. Where is that? I want to see the Chocobo. I can't zoom in on it. So I guess we'll see how this event actually plays out. Uh with an actual playthrough and that will be uploaded later on so stay tuned for that on uh youtube.com backslash it's Yagu, or i should say at it's Yagu, at yes y-a-g-o-o-h